Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for the new Nexus 7, which is a 2013 edition, or basically a second generation Nexus 7. Uh, I'm not only going to show you how to unlock the bootloader, I'm going to show you how to install a custom recovery, more specifically TWRP uh, recovery, and also how to root this tablet all in one go. Uh, so first off, all credit and thanks goes to Philos64 on XDA forums. Uh, what I suggest you do is log in, hit the thanks button, or better yet, donate to them, because they did do all the work. Uh, first off, I'm not a developer, so if you have any technical questions or problems, please do not ask me. I will most likely not answer your question because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't know how to answer it. If you have any trouble, ask in this forum link. I will be providing a link to this forum in the description below. Most importantly, you must access this link in the description below because this page is where all the original instructions are and it's where you can uh, access all the files needed to uh, mod your tablet. Okay? Uh, furthermore, if something go should something go wrong while attempting to follow instructions in this video, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, so be following instructions in this video at your own risk. Uh, m even more importantly also is if everything does go right, everything will be wiped clean apps, your music, your pictures, everything will be wiped clean. So back it up now while you have the chance because it's going to be gone uh, once the bootloader is unlocked. So what you want to do is get the, well you want to basically download WinRAR or some sort of extract, a file extracting file like WinZip or something. <clears throat> you have to download the Android SDK. I'll put a direct link to the Android SDK website in the description below instead of accessing it here. If you're having trouble installing the Android SDK for any reason, I also have another video explaining how to get that done. <clears throat> you can find a link to that video on how to install the Android SDK in the description below. Then what you're going to do is find this link, 3BIS, Platform Tools, just click it. Uh, it's going to open up this link. <clears throat> Wait for the countdown, download it, extract it. When you get your Android SDK files, I suggest you put it in your C drive, as I have, and I have it in this folder. Then you're going to go to SDK platform tools and you'll see that I have 11 files you might have less if you install the Android SDK that's the whole point of downloading this file here you'll get additional files download them copy and paste it onto your platform tools folder there's a directory pause this video if you need to check the directory um, put it in there try not to overwrite the original files alright so you should end up with a max of 11 files try to keep the original files do not overwrite anything um, at this point so you're gonna get the tablet ready <clears throat> to hook up to the computer uh, this is a Windows method by the way let's see if I can get some space you're gonna go to your tablet settings all the way to the bottom about tablet keep tapping the build number you get a countdown okay you're now a developer go back you'll see developer options is available open it this has to be on. If it's not on, turn it on. You'll get a warning. Just press OK. Turn it on. Uh, then you type USB debugging. OK. USB debugging is activated. What you're going to do at this point is to simply hook it up to your computer. Nothing fancy. Just use the USB cord that came with the tablet. Hook it up. Now what should happen now is that your computer is going to start looking for drivers. Um, as you can see, all three drivers installed correctly. I am set to go. Uh, this thing will pop up saying, yeah, you transfer some files, don't transfer files, we're not doing that right now. Okay, once the drivers are installed, disconnect the tablet, power it down. Once it's fully powered down, we'll continue from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically access the bootloader screen. So what we're going to do now is press and hold the down volume button. Do not press the up volume button, ignore it. Only down vo volume button, press and hold it, and at the same time press and hold the up, uh, sorry, the power button. So you're pressing and holding the down volume button first and then pressing on the power button at the same time. You should get this screen, okay? At this point, you're going to connect the tablet back to the computer because I disconnected it after um, I powered it off. All right, some more drivers installed. Everything's good to go. Y your drivers must install. It is essential they do. If not, then you cannot continue. Most likely had problems installing the Android SDK. And as you see right now, it says lock state locked. The bootloader is still unlocked, right? Okay, so... We're in the bootloader screen. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is while you're still in your Platform 2's folder, you're going to press Shift and right click. Let me see if I can do this while showing you guys. It's a bit tricky. Shift, right click. Uh, see Open in Command window here. Press that. Okay. 
and this is what you should get. At this point, you're going to type in the following. I'm just going to fast forward a little just to save some time. All right, so while this window is open, all I did was simply type uh, fastboot OEM unlock. Pause the video if you need to see the exact spelling. That's all I typed while I fast forwarded. I'm going to press enter. And what's happening now is that the tablet saying, do you want to unlock the bootloader? So now I have to go over to the tablet, press the volume rocker button up. This is the point of no return, okay? So this is where everything's going to be wiped clean. Uh, if you want to continue, press the volume button up, as I mentioned, to select yes. Then press the power button to select it. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, so after waiting about 5 to 10 seconds, as you can see, I went back to this screen and it says lock state unlocked. The bootloader is unlocked. Now you're going to use the volume rocker buttons to select power off, press the power button. And what we're going to do now is restart the tablet. Uh, you could actually disconnect it from the computer at this point. I just want to show you that I have an unlocked bootloader and we'll continue by installing the custom recovery. There, I have an unlocked logo. Bootloader is unlocked. So far, so good. Let's install Team Win Recovery Project. Okay, so after unlocking the bootloader, it took the tablet a few minutes to uh, start up, actually longer than usual. Uh, then you get the usual login, your Gmail account stuff. I ignored all that. I just simply skipped as quickly as possible. What we're going to do is power it on the device again. Uh, while that's powering down, what you're going to do basically is on that same forum post, you know, where the original files were, uh, basically we're on this part here down to process to unlock the bootloader. We just finished that, right? Okay, so now in the second section, it says process to install team win recovery, blah, blah, blah. Click this download link download the file and what I suggest you do is you put it in your platform tools folder okay so after after it's been put um, in your platform tools folder it doesn't have to be in your platform tools folder it's just easier I recommend it though uh, because the developers industry they say it has to be done but I recommend it they recommend that you rename that file you just downloaded so what I'm gonna do is just copy this copy this is the file we just downloaded open recovery blah 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 you're going to rename it as the developer mentioned. Okay, so that's what it's been renamed to. And what we're going to do is start the tablet back into the bootloader mode again. So again, the tablet is fully powered off at this point. I'm going to press and hold the down volume button first, then press and hold the power button at the same time. Okay, we're in bootloader mode. What we're going to do now is hook it up to the computer once more via the USB cord, nothing too fancy. Okay, so while we're still in the platform tools folder, to make life easy and lazy, uh, again, you're gonna shift click in this folder, shift, sorry, shift right click rather, again, we're gonna choose open command window here, okay, this is what you should get, and now, just to be lazy once more, where we just finished step two by renaming that, we just open the command window, so what we're gonna do is copy this, I'm just too lazy to write it out, copy, open the command prompt, right click, paste, enter. Okay, as you can see it transfers something in less than a second. Uh, finish total time. What we want to do is basically see if we have team win recovery project. So this time with the volume buttons, you're going to navigate until you find recovery. Recovery mode, press the power button. It should boot into a team win recovery project. If that is the case, we have a custom recovery, and the last thing to do is root the device, which is extremely easy. There you go. We have Team Win Recovery Project. Um, you can back up your device fully by pressing backup, check marking all this, swipe to backup, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to press back for now. Um, and then we're going to reboot the device. Uh, we'll just power it off for now. Uh, it's asking. It's something about super SU. We're gonna ignore that because we don't actually have root yet. We still have to root, so we'll ignore that for now. Swipe. Oops. No, no. Do not install. And let's continue from there. Okay. So finally and lastly, it's time to root. So what we're gonna do is basically after you rebooted from Team Win Recovery Project, uh, just boot into your tablet normally. Nothing fancy. Just the normal boot connected to your computer because we're just basically transferring one file. Uh, so on this forum post, what you're gonna do is process to root your Nexus. Download this from this link here. It'll open this link. Press download update. Copy and paste it to the internal storage of your Nexus 7. As you can see, Nexus 7 internal storage. Uh, for those of you who might not know, just open this up. Paste it here. The update super SU. That's it. Very easy. Well, once you transfer that file, you want to disconnect your um, tablet from your computer. 
power down and we're gonna start into bootloader mode. Okay, so once you transfer that file, you disconnected your tablet from the computer, you power down your tablet completely, like turn it off. Uh, last, again, you guys should know this by now, press and hold the down volume button only, not the up, just the down volume button. Press and hold it, continue to hold it, and press and hold the power button. Just wait a bit. Okay. What we're gonna do at this point <clears throat> is go to recovery mode, press the power button. To get to recovery mode, I press the volume button to navigate up and down. You guys should know that by now. So my tablet is not connected to the computer. Uh, there's no need to connect it to the computer anymore. While you're in Team Win Recovery Project, what you're gonna do is hit install. And you should hit, this is the root directory of the tablet. This is where you should have copied that uh, update super SU. There's mine. I'm gonna tap on it. Um, and swipe to confirm flash. It's doing a whole bunch of stuff in the background. It, su it says successful uh, reboot system. And what we're gonna do now is do some sort of confirmation that I have root access. I'll install a titanium backup and we'll confirm I have root access. Okay, so I downloaded and installed titanium backup to confirm we have root. I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, I'm saying if I wanna give root access, grant. That's it, I have root access. So I've unlocked the bootloader, I installed a custom recovery team with recovery project to be specific, and I have rooted. So I've done all three. It's very simple, but again, just be careful. Um, that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.